some of the top pro-life leaders today are converts to the cause. And this next conversion story is remarkable. Meet a former abortionist who went from ending lives to working to save them in this week's Pro-Life Focus. This is a grasping instrument. When it gets a hold of something, it does not let go. From teaching lawmakers on Capitol Hill to students in college lecture halls. A 12-week baby is the width of your hand, head to rump, not counting the legs. Medical doctor Anthony Levitino teaches others about the reality of abortion. He teaches from firsthand experience. Right along with, in my residency, learning how to do deliveries and hysterectomies and all the stuff that obstetrician gynecologists do, I learned to do abortions. Levitino is a former abortionist who, by his own estimate, committed over 1,200 abortions. Now, if you had asked me at the time what I thought about the abortion issue, I wouldn't have hesitated to tell you I was pro-choice. This was a decision between a woman, her doctor, and nobody, including the baby's father, had anything to say about it. Meanwhile, Levitino was hoping to become a father himself. While doing abortions at his medical practice, at home, he and his wife struggled with infertility. She went to the best infertility expert in town, and after a lot of tests and some very difficult times, we were basically told that it was not expected that we would be able to have a child of our own. Longing for life is what led Levitino to first doubt his work as an abortionist. You know, I would do two, three, four abortions in a morning when it was my turn. And I remember during that time thinking, gosh, I'm just throwing these kids in the garbage. Wouldn't one of these women allow us to take her baby home and care for, for our own? But of course, it doesn't work that way. The Levitinos would eventually welcome a child after choosing adoption. We were very blessed when in August of 1978, we were able to adopt a little girl that we named Heather. The next month, the Levitinos conceived a biological child of their own, a son. They were now parents, twice blessed. But tragedy would soon rock the family's world. Everything was just dandy until June 23, 1984, when our daughter Heather was killed out in front of our house in an auto, an auto accident. Uh, people who have children might think they have some idea what it's like to lose a child, but if they haven't been through this themselves, they have no idea, and I hope they never find out. Carrying the pain that comes with losing a child, Levitino could no longer look at his work with the same eyes. But what do you do after a disaster? You bury your child and try to get back into your life. And I don't know how long after that my first d &E abortion was scheduled, and I re reached in with this heavy clamp called a sofa clamp and tore out an arm or a leg and just stared at it in the clamp, and I got sick. But when you start an abortion, you can't stop. You have to keep inventory. You have to make sure you get two arms, two legs, and all the pieces. Because if you don't, your patient's going to come back infected, bleeding, or dead. So I finished that abortion. And I know it sounds strange to people, but for the first time in my life, I looked. I really looked at that pile of body parts on the side of the table. And I didn't see her wonderful right to choose, and I didn't see what a great doctor I was taking care of her problem, and I didn't even see the $800 cash I just made in 15 minutes. All I could see was somebody's son or daughter. He calls that moment the beginning of the end. It's what led him to walk away from abortions and today share his unique conversion story with others. He's helping to share other pro-life conversion stories as well, playing the role of an abortionist in the movie Unplanned. It is not preachy. It is the story of Abby Johnson, and it's told accurately. And I will tell you from having been on the set and then watching the final product, what you see on the screen is extremely medically accurate. They got it right. You can also see Levitino in videos produced by the pro-life group Live Action. He narrated their abortion procedure series to educate people about the reality of abortion. Millions and millions have viewed them. Today I'm going to describe a second trimester surgical abortion called dilatation and evacuation, or D&E. So while it's his experience as a former abortionist that gets people to listen, it's his role as father that compels Levitino to share his story with us in the first place. I suppose the, th the one thing I can offer that's a little unique is the same thing any doctor could offer. I can 
I can talk about abortion from a personal standpoint. The stories I tell are firsthand and true. Um, and I think that that, that gives it a level of credibility that's difficult to get otherwise. And I think that's the biggest role I can play. What a powerful story. Thank you, Dr. Levitino, for your witness.